Forbidden Fruit, Unveiling the Allure of the Taboo Hello everyone, today, we're going to explore a fascinating phrase in the English language, Forbidden Fruit. This term has deep historical and cultural roots, and it's packed with meaning. Whether you're an English language learner or just curious about idiomatic expressions, this video will shed light on why this phrase is so intriguing and widely used. The phrase, forbidden fruit, originally comes from a biblical story in the book of Genesis. It refers to the fruit from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, which God forbade Adam and Eve from eating. However, they were tempted by the serpent and ate the fruit, leading to their expulsion from the Garden of Eden. This story is a cornerstone in many cultural and religious teachings, symbolizing the allure and consequences of giving in to temptation. In modern English, the term, forbidden fruit, is used metaphorically. It describes something that is desirable but off-limits or morally or legally wrong but still tempting. It's often used in contexts where someone is attracted to something they cannot or should not have, whether it's a physical object, an action, or even a relationship. Forbidden fruit has been a popular theme in literature and art for centuries. From Shakespeare's plays to contemporary movies, this concept has been used to illustrate complex human emotions and moral dilemmas. It's a powerful metaphor that resonates with the universal experience of temptation and the allure of the taboo. You might hear, forbidden fruit, in everyday conversations, particularly when discussing topics related to moral boundaries, temptation, and desire. For example, someone might refer to a colleague's romantic interest in a married person as, chasing forbidden fruit. Understanding this phrase can add depth to your comprehension of English idiomatic expressions. The phrase, forbidden fruit, is more than just a biblical reference. It's a rich and layered expression that conveys the complexity of human desires and moral boundaries. We hope this video has been enlightening and adds a new dimension to your understanding of English idioms. Remember, language is not just about words, it's about the stories and meanings behind them. Keep exploring, and happy learning!